Most people aren't interested in these kinds of things. They just blindly follow whatever they hear on the telly. Fake news, an intentional deception. Fake news. You are fake news. But you, since you are watching this, which means that you appreciate logic and critical thinking, you are able to understand that polarization is a phenomenon that affects us all and it needs to be seriously addressed. What is a polarization? What do you mean by that? It is an introduction or exploitation of division into groups, so-called eco-chambers, which are, to put it mildly, critical towards each other and favorable within themselves. What? Look at this picture. Polarization is, in simple terms, building a wall against the other group, while at the same time getting closer, winding into a vortex with other members of your camp. So we have two actions here, defined by the poles. The in-group action, meaning this winding in, idealizing, glorifying your own friends, and out-group action, which is directed outward, slandering and demonizing them, the enemies. Want some examples? Watch again what I did at the beginning of this clip. Most people aren't interested in these kinds of things. They just blindly follow whatever they hear on the telly. But you, since you are watching this, which means that you appreciate logic and critical thinking, you are able to understand that... Have you noticed what I just did? I am flattering your intelligence, your ability to think critically. I'm pulling you into my vortex while at the same time I separate you from foolish crowds that blindly follows the telly. So we have two actions here. In-group action, I strengthen us, our little group, I reinforce our beliefs and attitudes, while at the same time I attack, I slander, I mock others from whom I immediately distance us. So this is an outgroup action. So we have both kinds, both types of polarization. They could be used at the same time. The first one idealizes or glorifies when I make us to be the heroes, but it could also be victims. And this is quite popular nowadays. I'm so tired of students and people saying the word victim. But I can also demonize. I make them out to be our enemies or oppressors. So these are two kinds of polarizing action. That was easy. All right, but let's ask an important question here. Wait a minute. What's wrong with polarization? There are different viewpoints and at least one of them is usually incorrect. So people debate, people argue and even fight with words. We shall fight on the beaches. For what they consider important, true or good, and they criticize, they oppose what they see as wrong, false or harmful. By the way, the metaphor of argument as war is quite adequate here. After all, we all need to defend our values, don't we? We shall defend our island, whatever the cost may be. So why should we avoid polarization in matters which are important to us? So here is the crucial distinction, which helps explain it a bit. Not every discussion or disagreement leads to polarization. What? We need discussions to grow. This is like a great epistemic tool to increase our knowledge, to have so-called a cognitive gain, to test our beliefs. While polarization dehumanizes the opponent, builds the walls, creates the vortex. So discussions broaden our horizons, provides knowledge, tests our beliefs. But in a polarized discussion, we aren't really having discussion, do we? Sure, we have some arguments, we make claims, we provide justifications, but the goal isn't to collectively reach the truth, it's to fight to overcome the opponent. It is us versus them. And 
Everyone loses in that. Perfect. So you may ask how to recognize the polarization. A group of researchers from Poland, Belgium, Spain and Switzerland involved in the iTrust project analyzed a large corpus of vaccine-related discussions on Reddit, Donald Trump's tweets, etc. etc. There's plenty of it. So these scholars discovered certain linguistic components that indicate the polarization of the debate. Let's have a look on the few examples. The first one goes like this. Kalabagdam was best placed to store the flood of water, but shameless opportunist seasonal politicians have played dirty games to stop Kalabagdam project. These climate change lunatics in government and the World Economic Forum are going to make meat, cheese, milk and chocolate luxury heavily taxed items to save the planet. How is this polarizing? Well, it's simple. Just look at the grammar. When we talk about someone in the third person, usually plural, it is most likely an out-group action. If the content of what is being said is negative, well, this is almost certain. Here we see negative labels, insults like shameless politicians or lunatics, and additionally this attribution of dishonest intentions. They're playing dirty games. So here we have one of those actions, creating an opposing pole, discrediting and demonizing people. In this case, politicians exploiting us, the working people. Let's take another example. The countries with the highest vaccination rates have the highest amount of cases. Reading between the lines tells me that the vaccines suck for what they are advertised to do. Everyone here knows what they are really supposed to do, and in that regard it's working. Here we have a vector directed inward. This is an in-group action. In these two cases, we all know or we all can read between the lines. It is us, the thinking ones, who think critically. Unagi. So in that case, we are being pulled into the vortex of, you know, smart people. We all want to be smart, don't we? Ah, Unagi. Let's take one more example. Watch them exempt themselves. I don't know how they will do it, maybe diplomatically, with their containers, but they never ever are talking about themselves. They are only applying these rules to us. This short example includes both types of polarization, outgroup and in-group. The first one separates us from them, those who decide everything for us, imposing more laws on us, the hypocrites who are our oppressors. And on the other hand, we, this is an in-group action, we are the victims, we, the hard-working people who are being exploited by the politicians. It's good to be with you. So now you see what is a polarization and how it is being used in these examples. However, you might be asking yourselves how to deal with it. Love, love. Stop it. Get some help. To put it simply, just don't let yourself to be pulled into the vortex, into some group. And don't let yourself to be separated from another group. So in that case, you are being resistant in both types of polarization. To in-group and out-group actions. By the way, if you made it to the end of this clip, could I ask you to write down in the comment section depolarization? It's just for me to see how many of you watch the whole thing. Of course, feel free to share any of your thoughts in the comments. Cheers. Do, 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 do. All you need is love, love, love is all.